Telog Enterprise version 5 includes a runtime version of Crystal Reports. You'll notice the Crystal Reports folder underneath the database tree. To create a new report, right-click on the Reports folder and select New Crystal Report. In the window that pops up, click the button with the three dots that the arrow was pointing to. We will be looking for the folder titled Crystal Reports. This can be found under the Telog Instruments Enterprise Directory. After opening the Crystal Reports folder, you'll notice preloaded reports. Please choose one that you'd like to use. After making your selection, please click OK. You'll notice that your selection now appears underneath the Crystal Reports folder. Right-click and select Open. After opening the report, we now see a blank template ready to be customized. We will use the Report Parameters window to create and customize our report. As seen here, we can give our report a title, We also have the same options as available in Enterprise for time presets. Or we can select Custom. We also have time intervals. We would select our group that we're using, various types of measurements, we have the ability to compress the report, also enabling or disabling daylight savings time, changing the statistics, or the report units, and also the number of decimal places that are shown. After making your selection, click Refresh. Our completed crystal report now appears using the parameters that we set. We also have the ability to save the report, share the report, and print the report. By clicking the Save as New Report button, this window appears and we can give our report a name. After giving it a name and clicking OK, we will now see the report appear underneath the Crystal Reports folder. Double-clicking this file will open it in a new window. We also have the ability to export the report. We can export it in a variety of ways. Here we're showing how to export the report as a PDF document. It's as simple as selecting PDF and choosing the destination of the file. Clicking OK brings us to this view where we will select the destination. The file is now saved in that directory. Finally, we have the ability to print this report from Enterprise. 
Clicking the print button will bring up the printing properties window and it's as simple as clicking the print button. This has been a tutorial on the Crystal Reports runtime feature available in Telog Enterprise version 5.